G'day, welcome to Unity with Him and my name is Joseph and today I am here with Amy Ooh. and we're going to minister to 10 people. Uh, if you would like to receive ministry in the same format, you can just write your name in the comments and uh, I will schedule you. Uh, so I noticed I'm about four days ahead uh, with names than I am with recording. So that means if you put your name in now, you'll probably only be able to receive or see your name come on the list in five days from now. But you can put your name on and I'll add you to the list and I'll minister to you and just you can just check every day and see when we minister to you. But we love ministering to people and I said to God, I'll minister to 10 people every day and so that's what we're doing and um, so blessed that I have a wonderful daughter Amy and uh, Kimberly and sometimes my friend Ian to come and sit with me and minister so I don't do this all by myself so that's also awesome the first person is Shannon all right so Shannon the Lord showed me how he is downloading blueprints into your spirit how he's putting his desires in you and how he is giving you clear vision and clear instructions for the new season in your life all okay? right uh, and then the lord showed me how you plug into god and how you plug into the body of christ uh, not only to receive but also to give and to minister unto him and to work for god and to serve the people in the body of christ and i saw the flow of that river of god flowing through your life god bless you shannon God bless you, Shannon. God loves you. His next word is for Darsan. Darsan, God loves you so much. And I see how you're walking through the sandstorm. And you know the scripture, He that will walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil. And I see how God just supplies for you the armor of God. He gives you a sword. He, he gives you a helmet, um, like glasses, so you can um, goggles so that you can see through this, through this time. And I just feel the Lord says, I haven't called you to walk through it with your eyes closed. I just see how God is just opening up your eyes and he's protecting you in this time and you will walk out of the storm victorious and i feel the lord has given your heart given you a dream in your heart to be generous and to overflow and to be a giver god has called you to be a giver and i just see how god has placed dreams and strategies in your heart so that you can have more of a supply in your life and how that financial breakthrough comes more in your life so that you can um build into god's kingdom so i really feel the season in your life god is sending people god is helping you strategies he's giving you the desires of your heart with that and I, I really feel that God is placing um, a, a business. You have a calling for ministry but I just feel the Lord is really blessing you with the business. God loves you so much. God bless you Darshan. Hey Darshan, um, always when we pray for you and minister to you I just feel that you're such a positive yeah. encouraging person and uh, that people really love to be close to you because of the love of God that comes out of you. All right, God bless you Darshan. Okay so Shan Shan Ming uh, the Lord shows me that He's given you a lot of discipline, especially in the area of spiritual discipline, to pray and to see God's face and to stand as a man of faith and not to waver. And so the Lord says that He's very pleased with you. And just like the Lord called Abraham, Mo, uh, uh, Abraham a friend of his because he walked in faith in the same way. The Lord says, son, you're walking in faith and I'm pleased with you and I call you my friend. All right? uh, and then the Lord showed me a mantle of evangelism that the Lord is placing on you and how you lead many into the kingdom of God. And now evangelism is not just uh, getting someone saved, but it's also helping someone through that whole process uh, of being restored and made free and becoming operational in the kingdom of God and evangelism is actually also to to uh, stand as a gatekeeper in the house of God to keep the wolves out but allow the sheep of God to come through God bless you Amen. God bless you. God loves you. This next word is for Christine. Christine, the Lord loves you very much. And just while praying for you, I see you in the presence of God and how your hair starts to grow. And just like Samson's hair and how you receive new strength. And I see how I feel in my heart that you are right now in a walk, um, declaring the walls of Jericho to crumble. And I just feel the Lord says in 2025, those walls are going to crumble. And then I just felt in my heart for this week, specifically this week, I, I really felt when I said, Today for like so for, for next week. Uh, I just I just really feel how 
I really feel next week God is going to bring um, breakthrough um, just for healing in your life and a lot of people's lives, but also just a breakthrough of coming deeper into the presence of God. I just feel the Lord says that there is no ceiling to my presence. I am calling you to, to come closer to me and I just feel there's going to be a breakthrough for that. God loves you. God bless you. Hey, awesome. Um, Christine, uh, God loves you very, very much. Uh, so the next word is for Sanyan. Uh, Sanyan, the Lord is giving you a seat of government. And the Lord is teaching you to rule and reign with Him. And I saw the line of the tribe of Judah coming out of you. And just like Jesus is the King of Kings and He rules and He trains others to be kings and lords in His kingdom. I feel that the Lord has called you to be a steward in His kingdom. To take responsibility over people and to rise up as a leader and to sit on a seat of authority and to manage resources and so the lord is blessing you and is giving you the wisdom and is making you a righteous judge in the house of god god bless you amen god bless you this next word is for christina um christina god loves you very much and and just while praying for you i just felt how god what is taking all tiredness off of your shoulders it was like um tired yes from everything that's going on and you need sleep but i just feel feel like there was like this um just this this tiredness that that god wants to give you restore peace into your life and how god just takes you into his arms and he holds you and he just restores you and then i saw a picture of how um how you invite god into your hearts and how you and him have a meal together and how you totally get restored but also there's just a deeper friendship that god is that wants to have with you and i just feel the father say i want to speak to you in this time and i just see how you visit the father and you eats with him and you spend time with him and how you you um a lot of things that you're trusting for in your life growth peace uh, um more love that you can be more of a loving person um more um finances more joy it the key is always to spend time with the father and i just feel the god say there's an invitation for you to sit with me and have a meal with me and talk with me and receive all that um god loves you god bless you Hey, Christina, the Lord shows me how he's taking out a heart of stone and he's putting in his heart in you and how you just get a compassion and a love for people around you. And just like the Lord is giving you vision for your life, yes. the Lord is even putting in your heart also uh, what are the plans and the purposes for other people around you. And you just love them and you want to encourage them to go in the way of God. Hey, God bless you, Christina. Uh, so, uh, uh, Jai, hey, or oh, Jai, yay. Uh, what the Lord is showing to me uh, is how he takes the sword of the spirit and he cuts off the past that, that is in your life. And the Lord says the things of the past, the mistakes of the past, even the, the curses that has come against you or covenants that was made in the past. The Lord says I'm cu cutting them off through the power in the blood of Jesus and I'm setting you free to walk into your future. And the Lord doesn't want you to focus or look back at your past, but the Lord wants you to focus on the plan that he has ahead of you. And then the Lord showed me, uh, David, how the Lord poured the oil of God over uh, David and he became a king. And I felt that the Lord says, I'm pouring my oil of the fragrance of Christ on you. And I saw as that oil uh, come on you, it brings healing to you. And it also puts you in a position that you can walk with God. And when people come into your presence, they can smell that fragrance of that oil of God that's on your life. God bless you, Jaya. Amen. I, um, this next word is for Lydia. Lydia, I just feel God has given you a mind, like this kingdom mindset. And, and I saw a picture of how you are surrounded with a lot of people that they, that they think, okay, this is just the way life is. This is this is the way. And I just see how God um, gives you hope and vision and ideas. And I see like how, you know, like in movies when the character is really excited and passionate, I'm going to do this, I'm going to get there. And they like walk around and carry all these books and all of a sudden they have more books and they're like learning and I just see how you're walking around with all these books and I just feel the Lord says I'm taking you into a season of growth and expansion don't look at the people around you I want you to fix your eyes on me and I just feel
that the Lord is really giving you um, like this fire in your heart to to learn more and to grow more. And I just see how the Holy Spirit has His hands on um, on your shoulder, saying to you, "You can do this." And I, I really feel how there's just going to be an up, uh, how you're going to be uplifted with worship and song and singing. So I really want to encourage you: spend time with God, worship Him, but also know that God is sending resources and God is taking you to a time of really learning um, so that you can go to the next level. Um, God loves you so much. God bless you. Hello, Lydia. Uh, God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Denica. Uh, uh, what the Lord is showing to me is um, here in South Africa, uh, they would sometimes have um, endangered animals uh, that they would move into areas where they can be protected and they can really thrive and multiply and grow and flourish. Okay? Uh, and I saw how the Lord uh, took you almost like a wild animal and he took you from a very dangerous area where your life was endangered. And the Lord brought you into a safe environment where you can grow and you can flourish. And then I saw family and even a, a natural family and even the family of God all around you hugging you, loving you, blessing you, speaking life over your life. And now you are in an environment where you can flourish, you can grow and you can fulfill uh, the purpose that God has created you. And so the Lord says, I'm your covering, I'm your protector, I'm your fortress and I'm the one that has saved you. And so the Lord is now empowering you to succeed in your life and is even giving you his Holy Spirit and he's giving you a vision for your future. No longer do you have to be a, a hopeless and think, I'm not going to make it. The Lord says you have a future. God bless you, Denica. Amen. God bless you. This next word is for Kushi. Kushi, God loves you so much and God is giving you the sandals of peace and he's calling you to walk in that peace. And I just see how God is, is calling you for leadership and how um, God is giving you like this compassion, that same compassion Jesus had over the people when they needed healing, when they needed breakthrough. Jesus had compassion for them and then he prayed for them for healing. And I just feel that same compassion God has placed in your life. And I saw a picture of how there's a lot of young people people um, I don't know if it was like a Sunday school or a youth but I just saw how you came and spoke there and how a lot of those kids got healed but that was also planting a lot of seeds into their lives. So I don't know if you do like kids ministry or youth, but I just feel the Lord has given you a calling to plant a lot of seeds and a lot of young people and to speak um, God's righteousness and peace over them. Um, God loves you so much. God bless you. Hey, Kushi, uh, God bless you. His hands upon you. Yes. Uh, family, it was an awesome privilege for us to minister to each one of you. Uh, so I also want to encourage you. Um, go and check out my Unity with Heaven yeah. teaching channel, subscribe to it and watch the, the teachings. I think there's awesome teachings on there. Write me a comment, it will bless me. Also go and check out, out Amy's uh, music channel. It's called Amy Storm uh, and you can find it also on YouTube. It's on all the other channels but uh, the Amy Storm one on YouTube, uh, it will be easy for you to find it. Uh, and you'll notice these or she's always sitting there playing piano singing or she's playing a ukulele and she just sing beautiful worship songs unto the Lord and so the Lord is called her as a worship leader and uh, so she she's very faithful to post the video so go and check her out uh, family we love and appreciate each one of you see you next time Bye. thank you for joining unity with heaven Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.